Thank you. As I have said before, I believe courage is one of the qualities we need most in society. It is what propels us forward. Courage is what divides those who only talk about change from those who actually act to change. Courage takes sacrifice, bravery, and humility. It is the ability to put others first. The courage of women throughout our history continues to inspire us, and it is my great privilege to recognize today women who have achieved remarkable success. I know we all have the courage within us to achieve great things for the betterment of this world. The women we are honoring today a symbol of courage. They're human rights advocates in some of the most dangerous parts of our world, and they have pushed through gender-based stereotypes to serve the greater good. These courageous, courageous women nature and serve the lives of vulnerable and forgotten within communities. They are role models to the next generation. Through their work, they empower women everywhere, and I, for one, am grateful for their work. Last year, right around this time, dozens of women across Iran took to city streets to protest the law requiring them to wear the hijab in public at all times. In an exercise of their freedom, these courageous women removed their hijabs in front of cameras, their faces clearly visible. They did so knowing the brutality of their leaders. And sure enough, a year ago tomorrow, on International Women's Day, state police swarmed to their protest. Many women were arrested. Some faced torture and beatings in jail. At least one was sentenced to 20 years behind bars, and others were forced to flee abroad. The plight of these Iranian women is just one example of the danger facing many women, and of the courage so often shown in the face of it. Conducting human rights advocacy on behalf of Rohingya refugees and documenting systematic sexual violence against women and girls. Emma is being honored for her brave efforts to condemn the military-led violence against the Rohingya people and selfless that have led to the disruption of terrorist attacks, perseverance in committing to work in a male-dominated field despite abuse and determination, realizing the value of those seeking vocational training in order to contribute to society and providing economic salvation and spirit by conflict, commitment to provide school for girls being forced into early marriage and denied an education, and compassion for teaching and pastoral service. Advancing women, peace, and security, addressing a diverse range of issues on behalf of victims of domestic, physical, social, sexual violence, refuses to back down in her quest to expose stories about crime and corruption, even in the face of threats to herself and her family. Defying threats aimed to derail her work and promoting environmental stewardship to protect Peru's natural and the innovative use of visual arts and street theater to promote legal literacy. Defense of the rights of women in the Maasai communities and encouraging women's political participation.